All right, I'm in the basement. Quick video. My daughter said the ceiling was dripping while she was doing laundry. So you don't want to waste a lot of time with this. So I cut a hole in the ceiling uh, as fast as I could where it was leaking uh, to identify where the leak is. So it is leaking from upstairs or was. I'll show you what I did. Let's go upstairs. Okay, so I don't know if you would call this luck, but uh, it turns out the pinhole leak was actually right behind my ice machine and uh, this these pipes are exposed and it is this little elbow joint right here that sprung a pinhole leak so i did uh hit the shut off so that water is now off but um i just put a little bucket there uh, i have had a fan on this area overnight to dry it out and that worked out uh, so anyways uh this little elbow is what needs to be replaced. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a shark bite on this one. So I'm gonna go pick one up and uh, get started. Okay, starting at the top is the pipe cutter I'll be using. Uh, the blue device is the cleaner for cleaning the outside and inside of the pipe. And at the bottom is the one half inch shark bite. Here's what that pipe cutter looks like on the first pipe. So you clamp it down, dial it in a little snug, and then start spinning it. And then you just keep on tightening it. Eventually, you'll cut through the pipe. This is what it looks like after the first cut has been made. And now I'm placing it uh, past the solder on the next section of pipe. All right, with both pipes cut, you can see there's a little bit of debris in here as well as this one. Uh, now these ends are pretty square from the cutter, but I am gonna clean them up with this tool. I'm gonna clean up both the inside of the pipe as well as the outside and get that nice and clean and ready for the shark bite. All right, I've got this end done. See, I've got the inside of that pipe done, but it's at a pretty difficult place to get to. So I'm gonna be using some sandpaper, some, uh, some blue uh, plumbing sandpaper to get that back pipe nice and shiny. It's just uh, too hard to get the tool back there. All right, so here is what that shark bite looks like when it's laid down next to that old elbow. All right, and there you have it. Once both ends are clean, just go ahead and push on your new shark bite elbow uh, onto both pieces of copper pipe, nice and tight. And uh, turn the water back on, have somebody eyeball it for you, make sure it's not leaking. This project is done. The last thing I'm gonna do is, I have dried up all the water. I am going to spray an antimicrobial mildew, uh, mold inhibitor all over this area so that uh, nothing grows. Now I just gotta repair the ceiling in the basement.